This is a 2009 Hyundai i10 and today I'll be reviewing this car. The first generation Hyundai i10 was announced in 2007 in New Delhi, India. It was produced at Hyundai's Chennai plant for the domestic and export markets. In India, it has five different versions, which is D-Lite, Era, Magna, Sports and Asta, with a 1.1-litre IDRZ engine and a 1.2-litre Kappa engine. Hyundai started development of the i10 to replace the Hyundai Santro. The car was targeted primarily at the Indian market and intended for production in India, given the popularity of hatchback subcompacts in the country. The i10 comes with chrome grills, blacked out air vents, pullback halogen headlamps, and fog lights. Let's talk about the side profile of the car. The Hyundai i10 comes with 13 inch steel wheels with 155 by 80 tyres with disc brakes at the front and drum brakes at the rear. Also the doors come with blacked out handles and the rear windows have an upswept kink. Let's head to the rear side of the car. The Hyundai i10 tailgate comes with a chrome lined boot release handle with a big Hyundai badge and a roof spoiler on the top end versions. The Hyundai i10 has a considerably small boot. The boot space in this car is only 225 liters. The car also comes with foldable seats, which makes it easier to store bigger luggage behind. Now let's talk about the heart of the car, which is the engine. The Hyundai i10 comes with a 1.1 liter 4 cylinder inline engine, which produces 66 horsepower and 99 newton meters of torque. The i10 comes with a sufficiently good interior. It has a dual tone interior with a beige dashboard and black wooden trimmings. It also consists of blacked out AC vents. The gear shifter which is a 5 speed manual is part of the central console which makes ample space in between the front seats. There are also two cup holders and a small storage space in between the two seats. This model of the i10 comes with power windows only at the front while the back has manual windows. Also the car comes with a height adjustable steering wheel which is a very convenient feature of this car. Also the instrument cluster of the car has only a speedometer, a heat gauge and a fuel gauge. This model of the i10 doesn't come with a tachometer. Let's head to the rear seats of the car. The rear doors open almost 90 degrees which is convenient. Also there is enough headroom for a person like me but the legroom is not adequate. For taller people it would be very inconvenient. Also, the seats have pockets which act like storage space. The i10 comes with considerably good interiors and also the easy access to the gear lever gives a comfortable driving experience. Another pro of the i10 is that it's a good looking hatchback and it is easy to maneuver in city traffic. The rear seats of the i10 are not very comfortable to sit on in long drives and also three people cannot sit very comfortably here. Another con of the i10 is its boot space. With only 225 litres of boot space, it becomes a little inconvenient to store luggage in the boot of the car.